Alan Dan Schinder here at the NAMM Show 2016 already, if you can believe it or not. We're here at the Alesis booth. I'm here with Dan Recchi. And Dan, what is your position with Alesis? I am a project manager with Alesis. That sounds like a fun gig. How long have you been doing that with them? Uh, I've been there for about a little over three years. Awesome. And we have a kit in front of us that is a screaming value. Whether you're a retailer watching this or you're a drummer watching this, whether you're a pro, a composer, um, you've got a child that's just getting started on drums. The Nitro Kit starts retail at $299 USD. That just blows my mind. Give us a little walk through and Hopper will come over, get a close up of the controls and then I'll give a little test drive. All right, excellent. Yeah, so $299 for this. Basically for everything that you see here except for the drum throne. So has eight inch toms, three eight inch toms, an eight inch dual zone snare and then 8-inch kick pad, which will accommodate double bass drum pedals if you have that. But it comes with a single kick drum pedal. Hi-hat, which comes with a hi-hat pedal. Crash with choke and ride with choke. And then that's a four-post rack. Really easy to assemble, really compact. And then everything plugs into our Nitro module. So this is going to have over 300 sounds, over 60 kits, built-in play-along tracks, record onto it, everything you expect in a great module and all of that just for $299. So for awesome for a beginner or an intermediate, but also if you're a pro and you just want a nice compact kit to have somewhere for you know for practicing or whatever, it's great for that too. Great to take on, you can set this up in your tour bus and practice. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You can put it in the bathroom of the tour bus if you wanted to. <laughs> Navigate through the a module a little bit for us so we can see what the deal is and then I'll, I'll give it a little test drive. Yeah, definitely. So basically you'll have, uh, the main navigation is going to be have you, if, like, if you press your kit button here, you'll navigate through the different settings that you can use on the kit. So EQing, adjusting the tone, adjusting any of the presets there. Or if we're just on the number, that's going to be cycling through which kit. So cycling through kits is very, very easy. And then whenever you hit any of the drums here, it's going to light up which drum you're hitting. You can see. So all the drums on there, you can that's cool. the sounds. So this is a quick way, if you're not even playing the drums, to audition them by going through the different kits. Hey, which kit do I want? Which type of snare drum do I want? Oh, I like that feature. Yeah, definitely. Another feature that a lot of people will be using is just plugging in to the aux input on the back. So, you know, an MP3 player, iPhone, whatever you have. Play to your music. Yeah, exactly. And that'll automatically come through, not only through your headphones, but through the speakers. And you just play right along with it. So very, very easy to use. And then, uh, you know, playing and pausing the different backing tracks, very easy. Um, it, it's very easy to navigate, but mainly you'll be going through the kits on the front here and pressing these buttons multiple times to go through the various editing that you can do, and, and that's basically it. That's cool. Pick your favorite sound and I'll uh, give it a little, I want to see what these feel no, like. Number one. Number, number one, one okay. Sound. So I'll let you hold this to the speaker. That's a killer kit for two two ninety. Are you sure that's not a mistake? It's not. They didn't. Oh, the, the one didn't fall off. It's not twelve ninety nine. It's two ninety nine. This, I I might need to get one for one of the grandkids. Not all of you grandkids. We got eight grandkids. I'm not buying eight kits. I'll buy one. Y'all come over, play it, and get out of the house. <laughs> Let's see what's next. We're going around the corner. Okay. Two ninety nine. Now this module, I saw at a major retailer that will go unnamed, but uh, it's very different from mine, because I have the DM10X, which is a great kit. The mesh hits, uh, thousands of sounds, all the kits, the play along, I love it. But then I saw this at the store, I said, wait, my module looks nothing like that. What's the deal with this? Yeah, so it's the, this is the, for, so we have the Forge kit, this is the Forge Advanced Drum Module, so also a very new module for us. Over 600 sounds in there, over 70 kits to put those sounds into. 
Then you have you know play along features, uh, play along songs to go with recording on board. The really cool thing about this though is that you can take a USB thumb drive and plug it into your computer, drag some sounds, some sound files onto it, plug that into the side of it, and then load those sounds onto the drums, onto any of the drums. Um, and then you can play them just like a drum kit, or you could load like a loop, like get a little four bars from one of your favorite songs or a percussion loop or something, put that on there, and then there's a loop mode for each of those. So, you know, hit a tom, a little shaker loop starts playing, you play along with it, hit the drum again, and it turns off. That is cool. Do I understand it correctly, and maybe it's different for different kits, you tell me, but are a lot of the sounds actual sampled sounds of real drums and percussion, not necessarily um, all synthetic created sounds? Yeah, basically, I mean, basically they're all uh, recorded sounds. Oh, wow. You know, and then, and then some, would, some would be recording, you know, like an electronic kit would record, record some type of drum machine. But then, yeah, acoustic drums being recorded are probably the bulk of what's in here, and percussion sounds and FX and stuff like that. That's cool. One of the things I love most about my DM10X kit and the DM10 module is all the, the array of the world percussion sounds, like from all over Africa, Asia, the, North Africa, the Middle East, and, and Latin America. Do all these kits have elements of that, or does it start at a certain kit? Absolutely, the, the variety of all the genres and subgenres you could ever need, so. Even on the Nitro kit, you can get Earth, uh, world sounds and stuff? Yep, yep, I think percussion, world sounds, you can, you know, there's, there's different type of percussion kits in there, and then of course you can obviously edit the kits to, you know, maybe take a tom and turn it into a, a tambourine sound or whatever like that, so yeah, it has everything you'd expect. Great, um, show us just real quickly how you might navigate this through the basics. Yep, so basically you'd have, uh, go, you, to get to play the different drum kits, you would just press kit, and then scrolling here, scrolls through all the different kits. You can actually do it quite quickly. And then if you want to play, a, if you want to do a backing song, you just pr simply press song, and now you see what song's on the screen and navigate through those. So that's going to be most of your navigation, just between song and, and uh, kit. If you want to turn the metronome on, you just press click, and you get a light along with it. Tap tempo, after you tap about three or four times, It'll adjust the tempo for you there. And obviously record and start stop for the songs is right there. And then if you want to go any deeper into the menu to do adjustments like to the sensitivity of the drums, which you know, these once you get them right out of the box, you're probably not going to do much, but everybody has different preferences. Right, right. So that's very easy. It'd just be hitting menu, going down to the trigger settings, and then you do it, editing each individual drum sound or trigger settings is as simple as going to that menu, hitting the drum you want to edit, and then making the adjustments, and then going to the next thing, so adjust sensitivity, adjust sensitivity, adjust sensitivity, very easy to go around. That's cool. Are, are these pads the same as those? Is it the same pads, but it's the module that's different? For the for the, the toms and the kick, yeah, the eight inches for the toms, eight inch kick, but then... The snare is different. Yeah, the snare is, and the, and the cymbals too, both crash, uh, crash and ride are chokeable, but then the uh, snare is an 11 inch, a different pad that's dual zone. So hitting in the center or hitting on the outside. And then the rack is going to be a four post chrome rack. So a little bit bigger, but still, you know, easy to set up, easy to make tiny little tweaks because, you know, I'm a drummer and I, I'm tweaking all the time. Yeah, yeah. And the cool thing about this rack is you can kind of set it up at an, in a new place. And if the rack's in the same position, your drums are in the same position. Right. So it makes um, it real easy. Pick your favorite sound and I'll take this one for a test drive. This one, it's number two. Oh, number two. The funk kit. Go. All right. Let's give you that. Lots of fun. Now we're going to go this way, right? Okay, follow us. Now this kit has a familiar drum because it's got a mesh head there. Yep. And I'll go, woo. Sorry. <laughs> Very cool. This, is this the same module? No, it's not. Yep, it's a, so it's the command advanced drum module. So the same basic sounds that are gonna be in the forge we were just talking about. So, but a different kit configuration. So same four post chrome rack, you know, same, comes with the kick pedal, comes with the hi-hat pedal. Now for toms though, you have like that, that 11 inch um, snare drum we had over there. We now, 
Yeah, so we have a nine, a nine, and an 11 inch of those dual zone, all dual zone. And then the two most important drums in the kit, the snare drum and the kick drum, are now our mesh head, the Elise's right. mesh heads. And, and I just want to say, for those of you that might be new to electronic percussion, um, the dual zone means that the rims give you a separate sound altogether. And I love that about my kit, because I can pick the drum sounds I want, and then I've got maybe a tambourine, cowbell, a splash, and a gong, or wood block and go-go bells, or uh, wind chimes, and you know, it's, it's like having a whole separate set with your set. So uh, a, a four-piece, not counting the bass drum, four-piece like this becomes eight different sounds. It's, I love it, it's great. Exactly, yeah, that's the great thing about it. So, so you have, so we were just at that Forge kit, which the, the map pricing on that is $4.99. And then to get up to this is $6.99. And basically, for something that has the mesh head technology like this, it's pretty much the least expensive kit out there for that. That's really cool. Uh, your favorite sound on this one? Uh, well, I'd say... The 1970s kit. Oh, 1970s kit from an older 70s kind of guy. So you can see the, almost like the pickups that are in there. Can you see that through the mesh? And uh, you got your do so the rim shot is right there on the rim. Sounds great, feels great, love these drums. So, $299, $499, only $699? This is crazy. Great, great. Whoa, and Whoa. now we're here with Tim Root. Whoa, we were for Dan Reck, he had a Tim Root. And it's a snap of the fingers, how are you, Tim? like, but just 40 years difference, probably. <laughs> I'm doing great, how are you doing, Dan? Doing great, it's real nice to see you here at the NAMM show. Booth is buzzing. We came by yesterday, every kit was being jammed on, really cool stuff. Um, we're going to give you all a sneak peek on something that's still in, don't tell anyone about, actually share this video everywhere. This is in development and we can't turn it on, but Tim's going to give us a sneak peek to some of the new innovations that you've worked into this new kit. So go for it. Okay. Well, as you know, we have a whole new line of electronic drums and uh, you saw some of the other ones, which are entry level models, but we are now making a super pro kit and it's called our strike series. So we have two versions of our strike kits. One is this one right here, which is the top dog. It's the strike pro kit. Then we have the strike zone kit, which we'll show everybody. But basically we redes redesigned it from the ground up. Everything is different. There's nothing you know, it's everything's new, basically. So we have a whole new pad set. Let me sit down here. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So the strike kit uh, is a whole new uh, setup of our pads. We've redesigned them. Now we've basically got dual hoop wood shells, so it's a very durable construction. All new mesh heads, so everything's mesh. And we wanted to make it really comfortable for the drummer. You know, uh, so the, they're all traditional sizes. We give you a 14 inch snare drum, which is the only- That's so cool. It is cool, it feels like you're at home. So 14 inch snare drum, which no other uh, electronic drum set has. We give you an eight, 10, 12, 14, which is traditional sizes. Big fat 14 inch kick. So when you sit on it, it just feels good. Super quiet. You can beat the heck out of it. It's, it just feels great. We've also redesigned our cymbals. So these are now full rubber cymbals. They feel great. Yeah, they're, they're literally like a... They're, oops, I, I need the microphone to talk. They're literally like a rubbery... We call them hand hammered rubber. Hand hammered hand rubber. Hand -hammered. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, we tune them. We tune our rubber here at Elisa's. Not really. Okay, <laughs> but the idea is the bell feels wonderful. The size is great. You know, so you can really just get a real good feel for it. Extremely quiet. Yeah, yeah it's very quiet in, in case that element matters. Ride cymbals, three zones. You get three crashes. Okay, so uh, I think it's the only electronic drum set that comes stock with three crashes. So with the strike kit, you also get a movable 12-inch uh, hi-hat, 
big fat chrome rack that's been redone, but the key to our system is the strike module. It's all new, and I'd love to tell you what this thing does. Yeah, I'll come on this side, so Hopper, you can come up over here. Okay, so the strike module is, uh, like I said, all new. First thing you notice is it's a full 4.3 inch color screen. So it's the only electronic drum module with a color screen. So it's very easy to see what you're editing and what you're doing. Like I said, you can come, you can uh, plug in 12 pads into the strike module. It's going to come with 200 kits and over 1,000 instruments. And what I mean, wow. in, instruments are not just one sample. An instrument is multi-samples. Yeah. So every drum on the strike will be multi-samples. Very dynamic so that whether you're tapping on it or just slamming or rim or whatever it is. Right? Absolutely. We've redone the whole library. So when you actually play a strike instrument, you're calling up multiple samples. For example, we might have 60 to 80 snare drum samples just on the snare alone. So when you play it, you really get the acoustic experience of playing a snare it's, drum. What I love about that is as, as drummers, you know that it's not a matter of it just getting louder. The sound of the instrument changes depending on how you strike it, the timbre, the voice of the sound. That's why there's so many different sounds built into just that one selection. That's right. an amazing, I, I just love that. I, it, I'm getting it, excited, it, I wanna go home amazing. and play drums, I'm it, going. It's amazing, let's go. <laughs> no. Okay, uh, yeah, I need to practice. Okay, so the other thing the strike module has, it's a professional module, so it has individual balance out, which is a big difference. When you start looking at other electronic drum uh, brains, a lot of them are stereo, okay? So individual out is uh, kind of a, it alerts you that it's a professional piece. But the really, one of the most important things I want everybody to know out there is the Strike is also gonna come with an editor for Mac or PC. So you're gonna be able to open up your uh, Strike editor and drag and drop your own custom samples, WAV files, MP3s, so you can create your own custom uh, multi-sample drum set. So we're gonna give you a lot of great content right out of the box, but you're gonna be able to customize it. And I think that's what everybody's been wanting. So you can load in your own samples. We're giving you a bunch. And also, if you want a sample, you can also sample on it, all right? That is so, cool. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I just, I can't tell you how excited I am about it. It plays great, it feels like a drum set, and you know, it's an amazing thing. What about uh, play-along tracks? Are there built-in play-along tracks, like the well, DM? Well, there's not built-in play-along tracks, but what we're gonna do is something even better. We've got another company that we've uh, partnered with called Free Drumless Drum Tracks, a guy named Andrew uh, Forbes. And so we're gonna give you a free Alesis pack of 50 downloadable songs without drummers. And these are like, really hot tunes. I played with some of them and I love them. So That's you're cool. going to get that with it and there'll be more of that type of thing coming with it. That's great. Uh, do you have any idea what this will retail list at yet? And if not, that's cool. We absolutely do. We have a map pricing, which is minimum advertised pricing, which is generally known as street price, $24.99. Wow, that's awesome. With a 14 inch snare drum. Let's look at the sister to this kit. Okay. All right. What is your name? I'm Will. Will, hi, I'm Dan with Drum Talk TV. How you doing, Dan? Great, how are you? Not bad. Good. I see you checking out the goods. Tim Root from Elisa and myself are going to go over the kit. We'll talk about it and then you play on it and tell us what you think of how it feels, okay? All right, so Tim, walk us through some of the. Uh, the amenities of the other strike. Okay, so this is the strike zone kit, and uh, number one it includes the the powerful strike module. So the module on the strike pro and the strike zone are the exact same module. The difference is the pad configuration. So with the strike zone, you you get the 14 inch kick drum, and you get an 8 inch, 10 inch, 12 inch tom tom, and a 12 inch snare drum, full four post chrome rack, the 16 inch triple zone ride and a dual zone 14 inch crash and the movable 14, uh, excuse me, 12 inch hi-hat. So you get a really nice playing surface, great rack, and obviously all the power of the strike module. But the key thing to this is the map price is only $15.99. And all mesh heads, all mesh heads, you wanna play on it and then tell us how it feels to you.
And have you ever played electronic drums before? Absolutely. Yeah. Have you ever played mesh heads before? Uh, I've only in demo situations like this. I've always played the uh, rubber pad heads. Yeah. Um, what do you think of how these feel? And be honest, you don't have to feel like you got to. No, they they, they feel really they feel really good. Um, the response is really good with them. Uh, the bounce feels well. Uh, I think what I like the most about the kit is the upgrade of the cymbals. Um, much more durable. Uh, I strike my cymbals really hard. Um, typical uh, digital drum cymbals, they, they bust quickly. Yeah. And uh, you're almost kind of, like for me, you almost hold back. You're afraid you're my... Absolutely. So you don't Which, want to be inhibited when you're playing. Exactly. And it does inhibit you, exactly. Uh, so these, I think, are, are much better. Uh, it all feels really good. Great. Will, what's your last name? Pleasant. Where are you from? I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, cool. Are you in a band there? Uh, mostly just myself. Steph. That's cool. Yeah. Same here. My wife likes to say, yeah, he just plays with himself. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for demoing this with us. Really appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so I want to talk about the strike module. Uh, again, we have two configurations of the strike kit. I just want to let everybody know the module is exactly the same. So if you get into the strike zone for $15.99, you get the killer module with it. And I want to reiterate, there's a lot of first on this module. Uh, first of all, it's the first color screen on electronic drum set. And uh, it's, it's really beautiful. Balanced individual outs. You can uh, expand up to 12 pads. You're going to get a software editor with it and be able to load in your own sounds. We're going to give you 200 drum sets and 1,000 multi-sampled instruments. And uh, it's got USB, so if you want to trigger to your software and record with it, you can. So really, I don't think we've left out anything to my knowledge. Uh, it's, it's exciting. I'm glad that Elisis is really making an effort to to go pro and, and really up our line, and I hope everybody notices it, because we're yeah. doing a lot of hard work. Yeah, absolutely, and the thing I'm absolutely most impressed with is that they got kits with great sounds, great construction, great feel, that start at 299 USD, all the way up to the new strike kit, the new flagship kit, that's only $26.99 when it's going to be right? 20, $24.99, $15.99, available in May. Great. May 2016, then we got the 299, 499, 699. Check out Elisa's. And those are already out. Get them now. Get them for your kids. Get them for yourself. Get them for your bass players so they can understand what you're doing. <laughs> and go right here on the website. Look for a dealer. You can check out all these different kits, all the specs, and have fun drumming. And thanks for joining myself, Dan Recchia, Tim Root here at the Elisa's booth at the NAM Show 2016 on drumtalktv.com. Thanks.